In this lecture segment, uh, we will discuss Sonnet SDH. Now, to discuss about Sonnet, let, let me tell you what Sonnet is. Uh, the full form of Sonnet is Synchronous optical S O and network. This is Sonnet, and the full form is DH is synchronous digital. Now, this is our discussion. Now, let's come back to the slides. We will be talking about synchronous transport signal, physical configuration, sonnet frame. Sonnet was developed by NC and HTH, this standard was developed by ITUT. Now, Sonnet basically defines hierarchy of electrical signal and optical signal uh, which is called STS. Now, we will be discussing about STS. This STS, the full form of STS is synchronous transport signal. Synchronous transport signal we are talking about how these signals being made what the hierarchy how these different different signals multiplex together and create okay signals and all those things will be discussed so multiplexing sts frame we will discuss we will be discussing about physical configuration we will be discussing about sonnet frame so sonnet is basically the architecture which is used in wide area network when we talk about when for example this is home network 1 and this is home network 2 when there is a link created between these two home network this is defined by sonnet when we have this multiplex and demultiplex signal we'll be discussing about sonnet architecture now so this sonnet protocol uh, today's uh, high-end uh, electrical electromagnetic signal, optical fiber signal is actually standardized by Sonnet. So, this standardization came uh, from United Standard, NC Standard and from UT, um, Europe, ITUT Standard. Okay, these are the defined standard. Now, the NC standard, when we talk about the NC standard, it actually talks about SONET and when we talk about ITUT, European standard, it talks about the hierarchy SDH. So that is the reason we talk about SONET SDH. Uh, now our discussion is what SONET is and what SDH is. So this we are going to talk about in this particular segment. segment. What are the different signals? What are the different devices? What are the different connections? Okay, and how this STM is designed? When we talk about STM, it is basically Sonnet Transport Module. So this Sonnet Transport Module is basically we need to know when we talk about Sonnet. Now. Now, Sonnet has several standards and Sonnet has several devices. To know this, we need to know the architecture of Sonnet. Let us uh, first talk about signal, devices and connection. So, this is the architecture. So, what happens? Let us elaborate this architecture in a better way. So, let me 
draw the diagram. For example, these are different different terminal devices. So this is T1, this is a terminal device T2, this is another terminal device T3. Now what solid multiplexer will do? This this is called STS multiplexer. This we call it as STS MUX. So this will actually multiplex all the three devices and give a higher connectivity which will pass through different different repeaters and this will go. Now uh, we, we call this particular device as a region. Now when we talk about sonnet, sonnet has first STS multiplexer. So one end it is multiplexer and another end this is demultiplexer. So if this end this is multiplexer when it reaches the other end this will be STS demultiplexer. Now this is all about the sonnet structure. So in between there is a now what happens when the signals coming from source 1, source 2 and source 3 for example source 1 is sending some signal to source 2 source 3 is sending some signal to source 2 now these two signals need to be multiplexed and this need to go to S2 now some signals coming from S1 which need to go to S2 which will go to S4 as well and some signal which is coming from S3 will go to S4 as well. So this two, this signal will be demultiplexed here those who will go to S2. So for example from S1 to S2 this S1, S2 this signal and from S1, S4 these two signals are multiplexed when it coming from this channel. This will be demultiplexed and this S1 to S2 and S3 to S2 will multiplex together. So this is the device which is doing the adding and dropping the different different signals. So this is called ABM, adding and dropping multiplexer. The device is called ABM. The device which is there in between to do such kind of operations are basically called ABM. Now we have for example T1, T2, this signal is coming to multiplexer. Uh, sorry, this signal uh, initially will come to multiplexer, then this will come to regenerator, after regenerator it will come to ABM. So this is STS multiplexer, demultiplexer, this is regenerator, now again this will go to regenerator, now this will finally demultiplex and go to the terminal. So for example T1 is sending some signal to T2, so T1 all other signals will be multiplexed coming through regenerator, come to ABM. Now accordingly this will join or drop the signals according to the path. So there are three things in sonnet, one is called section, one is called line, one is called path. So end to end connectivity defined by path. So each and every section need to be defined and this total connection from multiplexer to uh, ABM, ABM to multiplexer is coming under the line. Okay. So these are the hierarchy of different different signals and this, these are the different different rates of the signals which is there in sound. So, so now let us list different different devices in summit we have first called terminal so we have first called terminal then we have something called multiplexer sts multiplexer or demultiplexer then we have maybe just can give a name of sts md then we have something called regenerator which we have given a symbol of R and we have ABM adder and add and drop multiplexer. So,
these are the different types of devices which is available in sonnet now when this sonnet works in the network these are different different rates of signals now uh, what happens what is sts1 and sts3 is basically this sts one is one single device now for example there are this is one terminal one this is terminal two this is terminal three now when these three are multiplexed together this create a signal which is called sts3 so this is three is to one multiplexer then you can look back and check that this is thrice of the signal so one sts or one oc1 if you take this is oc1 this is oc3 this is sts1 this is sts3 now this is 51.840 this is 51.840 if i multiply into 3 this will come under One fifty-five point five zero. So, this is in three STS one multiplexed with and giving me the signal of STS three. That is how this STS multiplexed. This is how the hierarchy and signal rates. Of, now, for example, uh, if you have four STS three, you will get STS twelve. Like that. For example, if you have STS three, these are four in four is to one multiplexer. Now what happened? This one fifty five dot five two zero. This is one. Okay, sonnet multiplex. Uh, this is a one sonnet multiplex device. Now what happens? This single channel is STS one or OC one. Now such single channel multiplex together. Now this three channel multiplex together is giving you a signal which is called STS3 or OC3. Now this is thrice of the signal. Now in that case, when it is carrying three times of the signal, it will be having a huge data which transferred through, through this particular technology. And in that particular fa fashion of multiplexing, you can have so many data can be carried through that particular channel. This is the base part of solid. Now, this is a simple network using solid equipment. Now, this is our architecture. This is terminal. This is STS multiplexer. This is regenerator. Then add on drop depending on different different line. So, for example, line which is coming from T1 to T2 will be passing through this particular <coughs> uh, passing through this particular path. Or else, the, if it is for other path, it will drop the signal. So there are devices which is terminal, sonnet multiplexer and demultiplexer. Same type of devices. We have regenerator, we have terminal. So depending on the connections, so for in between one device to these are the different types of devices. From one device to another device, this is called section. From one sonnet multiplexer. To ADM and ADM to demultiplexer, this is called line, and this is called total path, which is carrying a signal. For example, OC1 is carrying here, OC2, or for example, OC3 is carrying here, OC3 is carrying here. So, this entire path is defined by a solid network, and there are different, different equipments. Now, we will be talking about the sonic layers. So, when we talk about sonic layers, we have path layer, line layer, photonic layer, section layer, and relationship in between them. Now, sonic defines four layer. Now, physical layer is nothing but my photonic layer. Now, when we talk about connection, normally there are two layers: physical layer, and we have something called data link layer. Now, physical layer is nothing but my photonic layer. Photonic layer means what kind of signals 
it carry. The signals it carry comes under photonic layer, and under data link layer we have path layer, line layer, and section layer. So first, from within two devices we have something called section. Now from multiplying different different section we have the line and then path. So this is the hierarchy: section, line, and then path. So If you compare to uh, other models, this is physical and data link. So, sonic multiplexer works in all the four sublayers. This works in two sublayers. This works in three sublayer. And accordingly, this is called device and layer relationship. Now, for example, this is my electrical signal. Now, photonic layer. Can handle different different types of signal. So electrical signal comes from individual devices, then it goes passes through. If we have the optical fiber cable, every DI it will passes through optical fiber and finally electrical signal from wherever we have RJ45 connectors, we have electrical signals rest in the path when we carry high-end connections. Okay, then we have every DI and it carries the optical fiber cable. Now let's do the calculation. What is the size of sonnet? How the transmission happens? So in this section, we are going to discuss about the different different. We will calculate different different uh, values. Now uh, let's first go and uh, calculate a very basic signal. Uh, now, so first problem find. Find the data rate of STS one signal. So uh, we have already earlier discussed that it can send eight thousand frames. Per second, so ST was STS also can okay send eight thousand frame per second. So now in STS one, how many? This is a frame. This STS frame. Each frame has. Nine bytes. And it now. Now, STS one. This, if you look into the architecture, it has nine by ninety frames. So actually, nine into ninety frames. So we will be having nine into ninety. That is eight hundred and ten. So total, if you look into the Data rate STS one data rate. The STS one data rate will be eight thousand frames into nine into ninety, and one byte means eight bit. One byte means eight bit. So this will be total data. Rate. So if you calculate for STS one, it is coming. Fifty-one point eight four zero Mbps, and that is, if you look into the signal rate, this is the calculation. Now, this is my STS one frame. A single frame is actually a 
having 90 into 9 byte. So this is the architecture structure of a sonnet. A single STS one frame has 9 into 90 byte. So let us look into such architecture how it is. So this is my byte transmission and this is my frame transmission. So that is how we we have calculated the, that any STS one frame has 8000 frames per second. Okay. And if we calculate the other component, this is coming up in this. So we can calculate, if we calculate STS1 signal, it is coming 51.840. And if you calculate STS3, it will be thrice. And in that, okay, it is STS1, STS OC1, it is same for STS2 or OC3, it is same. Now, this is actually sonnet architecture. Now, if you look into the sonnet, you have two, sec two things. One is called section overhead, line overhead and path overhead. So, this sonnet frames has 90 octets per row and 9 rows, such 9 rows and this creates a sonnet SPE and in that particular fashion, we can calculate sonnet data. That's sonnet STS. Now, let's go and uh, create this structure. Now, what happens? This is my single STS frame. This is my single STS frame, STS1. Now, in that, we will be having 90 octets. Now, this is 90. Now, this is 0 to 89, for example, 90 octets. And we have such rows, which is called 9 rows. So, each and every row defines something. So, there are two parts. One is called overhead. So, this is my overhead and this is my data. Now, in that, the first three, 0, 1 and 2, this first three octet is basically my header section. So first and such three rows, three rows, three into three, nine, this is coming under section. So this is called section over or section header. Now remaining six, six into three, eighty. So this is coming under line over. Now this together will create a path over it and like that, okay, sonnet has two portions. Now if you look into sonnet, so 3 into 3, this is for, we, we call it as section over it. Now section header, section over it. This is line header, so 6 into 380. So the remaining one that is 9 into 87, this is for data. So this is STS1. So if you see the overhead, so 9 into 87 is coming for data, 3 into 3 is coming for section head, header and 3 into 6 is coming for line header. So this is the sonnet details. Now let us come back and see. So in that this is called my payload and this is called my section overhead, line overhead and path overhead. So total this is creating my overhead of the Song. So now we have discussed. So one one actually carrying in a eight thousand frames in one second. So it will take one frame. It will take one by eight thousand second. So if you calculate, it is coming one twenty five per second. So. 125 microsecond is a transmission for one single frame. So this is for sonic.
Now, the duration of any frame will be 125 microsecond. Now, this is we have discussed section over it, line over it, and total path over it. And this is data, and this is my sonnet over it. How it actually, what is the, this is actually the structure of any sonnet frame. And such 8000 frames carry. Now, this is my alignment. If you look into the alignment, we have different different measures for identifying different different path, line, and section. And this is my data and encapsulation. Now, this is my line over it. This is my path over it. And this this basically coming under different different over it of different different bytes. Now this is coming under okay now let's create one more uh, let's take one more example for calculation so now in SPE we have two headers line header and section header now question is what are the different what are the different values of H1 and H2 if the SP given some specific value? For example, given a value 650. Now, this is actually represented this value in hexadecimal format. Now, 650 is need to be converted into hexadecimal. If we convert into hexadecimal, this is coming 0 to 8 and 8. If we write like this, now this is split into two parts. So, first one is called header 1, second one is called header 2. So, H1 is <coughs> nothing but written as 0 into 0 to and H2 will be written as 0 into 8. Now, in a reverse way, if H1 and H2 is given, then we can actually identify or calculate the solid header and the value of the solid header subsequently. So, that is the problem. Now, we can also calculate uh, if we have one for a, in a, a 90 column, one for mm, line over it, three for other over it, then what is the user data? So, this is the user data, and remaining data will be mine for 8000 frame 9 1 into 86 into 8. This will come coming under data. So, if you calculate data separately, if you calculate header separately, this will be my value. So, these are the different, different uh, header format, and this we have already calculated. So, what are the values of H1 and H2? If the value start from 650. Now, sonnet multiplexing, when we talk about sonnet multiplexing, okay, in sonnet all clocks in the network are locked to a master clock. Now, when we have such uh, issues, let's see how the multiplexing takes place. We already discussed the multiplexing. Now, lower rate <coughs> can be synchronously time division multiplex into higher rate, like ST was ST1 can create ST3. So, we have already uh, discussed, for example, this is my STS1, so STS1, STS1. So, such three frames can multiplex together and create a STS3. Now, if such four frames, so this is 3 is to 1 multiplexer, if we have such four frames, all are STS3, this will give me STS12. So, this is 4 is to 1 multiplexer. So, this is if you look into such architecture, this is totally 12 is to 1. So, 1 STS12 actually carry okay, 3 into 4 STS1 signal, and this is my multiplexing in solid.
So let's understand the concept of bipedal interleaving. In solid regions multiplexing, uh, we have the concept of uh, bipedal interleaving. So what is a bipedal interleaving? So basically, bipedal interleaving means if you look into the architecture, this is called bipedal interleaving. So this is how. This is coming from STS one. This is coming from STS two. This is coming from STS three. Sorry, STS one uh, terminal one, STS one terminal two, STS one terminal three, and they will be taking the position and creating this total you know, STS frame. Now, in multiplexing, in such concept, okay. When the bytes combine together, this is called byte interleaving. So this is the architecture. In combining different different sections, we can calculate the byte interleaving in such a way. So now this is my after calculating uh, from different. Uh, this is uh, optical fiber signal SCS three, Moro C three. This is a signal. When we create after byte interleaving, when we have created this signal, so this is the architecture of a bigger signal of STS three. So this is the architecture. Now we we can actually create a ATM signal in solid. We can create a MPLS and a higher uh, W uh, wireless standard signals. So now let's understand how mm, this ADM works. For example, from STS three, okay, from this line, this is from L one to L two. So like this is line one, this is, uh, line two in a path. So some signals will go for pass through ADM because uh, this need to go to this particular line one to line two. So Uh, corresponding signals will pass, and the one which is not for this, uh, which should not go from line one to line two, will be dropped. So new signals will be added, and the old signals will be dropped. In that particular manner, this is what. So, solid equipments uh, we can have uh, different different topologies, linear, linear mesh network. So let's understand. The sonic network. Sonic network has three types: linear network, ring network, and mesh mesh network. So, linear can be point-to-point, multi-point. Ring network is UPSR, BLSR, and mesh can have two types: partial mesh and fully mesh. This is a point-to-point. This is a multi-point sonic network, and this is APS for. Uh, When we talk about uh, ring network, this can create an architecture of a ring. So it's a unidirectional path. This is a bidirectional path, and this is a combination ring, which can actually lead to a mesh network. So this is a mesh network. So next, we will be talking about virtual uh, virtual uh, terminals or tributaries which is a which is which can be a potential uh, payload so this is how it is creating a virtual system now coming back to the briefing of the entire uh, syllabus let's uh, this in this particular section what we have discussed How sonnet is used? Sonnet is basically used in uh, ATM or high-end standard frame relay. We have not so far used. So sonnet required uh, sonnet is having some hierarchy to create a connection in between different different okay networks and network standards. And in sonnet system, we have section, line, and path, and we have devices like uh, in a hierarchy. We have section, line, and path in a data link layer. And we have different wallets, and this has different devices like terminal, multiplexer, regenerator, ADM, and multiplexer or the multiplexer. We have different layers. 
section layer, line layer, path layer, and physical layer. layer photonic layer. So this is sonnet coming under sonnet layer. This is coming under device layer relationship. This also required encapsulation. For example, optical signal comes from the basic layer. Now this photonic layer will okay combine together and give this section, then line and then path. So this is optic. This is basically uh, you know, end users. In terminal, they have always the electronic data, and in photonics, we, we have optical signal or we have electrical signal. So there is a conversion required. So this is the size of STS one frame or STS n frame. This is the overhead, and this is the section, the three overhead, section overhead, line overhead, and path overhead, and this is the different pointers, and we have. Virtual tri uh, tributaries, and then we have STS payloads, which we have calculated STS n. Then we have discussed STS multiplexing. Then uh, the finally, this is how a ATM signal create uh, ATM in ATM how this uh, you know uh, STS plays a role. Now, when once we discuss ATM, we will discuss in details. Thank you.